Good morning traders and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So um, we are looking rather ominous at the moment. So we have rejected these two levels which was the previous swing high here. Okay I'm actually, uh, the level that I'm really interested in is this one right here which is 3400. Okay so that was a previous weekly level. We have rejected it pretty hard at the moment. We are coming back into another area of interest for me which is this area of 3343 or 3344. Um, that is another area of interest for me and you can see why it is also a previous swing high. Okay and it's also the bottom of this range here. So your trend is still up. Granted we have a fairly decent trend to the upside. Um, this move down has been pretty big, it's been pretty volatile, big up, big down, big confusions, but we have a tweezer top here. We have two pin bars rejecting a level. So we have had two days where we've rejected 3400 and I would expect a bit of a deeper pullback. So we do have a gap to close here and uh, I mean after hours we have moved already and then obviously we've got that trend line support there as well. Okay now you can see it's uh, not a traditional trend line as I know you'd normally draw but you can see the rejection here of that area and then we flipped it to support here and it's still support. Okay so that's normally when you got that kind of price action it's normally the middle line of a bigger channel. So if we just do this that and then I can line that up pretty much something like that okay anyway let's just get down to the lower time frames those are the ones that we want to trade and uh, delete some of this noise and just put this level in where we are because that is of significance at the moment. You see there's a bit of a, a gap here that we need at the moment. We are back below the moving average so we have been below it and look there how we bounced off it. So that's kind of the play. If we're going to be short I want to see us pull back. I want to see us come into this area here of 33.89 and reject it and then I'm looking for us to get down to the gap at least over there. Okay, at 3333. That's pretty much the the area that I'm looking at at the moment. So if we flip down to the hour. You can see it's been a pretty strong move uh, going into close and continued after hours. Coming close to the gap here, I would expect some buyers to come in here. And then you need to look on the hour to look to the left, and every one of these fractals here is going to offer support. And uh, what you're looking for is a much deeper pullback so that you can use this area as your stop area. Okay, so this is uh, where we up and high is 33.97. So you want to be above 3400. So 3400 it does need to be tested. Okay, so it's been a break to the downside, so it does need to be tested and rejected. And it is a fairly significant level, it's been significant for, for, for quite some time. So that is the area that needs to be tested. It is also the moving average retest. So that would be a great area for me to, to short this again, uh, off 3400. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment, which um, is scary because it is short scalps. I'm still not really keen on on a long term short or even a medium term short, but I do believe that that is on offer right now. So possibly a rejection off this area here, pull back to 3400 and then uh, we start rolling off that. It may get a little bit higher to come and test some of these tails here. And it's always a good idea just to put two in at the zone you're looking at. So that is 3398, that's 3400 up there. So let's so I just want to find a decent area of support 
Yeah, so that that's kind of the zone. I think uh, between thirty three nine zero and uh, and thirty four oh two should be what you're looking at. If we can get up to thirty four oh two, you've got a fairly close stop area, which is above the previous highs of yesterday. Okay, but whether that's going to transpire is another story. Uh, there may also be long scalps off the bottom here. I need to pay attention to price action here. So 33, 33, see what happens down here for a move up. But normally with a big move down like this, uh, I'll be very, I'll be surprised to see us uh, have a serious bounce from here. Okay, so yeah, all eyes are on data this afternoon as well. So complete confusion. Uh, probably leave money in pocket for me as well but uh, if we do get back into this zone I'll be interested in shorting from there uh, at the moment down here I'm not interested in shorting and I'm actually not interested in going long either so I want to see some some decent price action down here that's going to indicate we're turning okay so yeah could be a sit on hand situation for the rest of the day and uh, look at some other opportunities the euro USD is looking interesting uh, it does look like uh, uh, the dollar is uh, weakening, or oh, sorry, the dollar is strengthening at the moment. So, yeah, that could be a, a major play at the moment. Okay, anyway guys, hope it helps and uh, we will catch you later on. Cheers for now.